Broadway Burden. Hello there. It's an honor. How are you? Thank you. Well, pleased to see you. And Don, Don Baldwin. Hello there. Nice to see you. Did a see great you. job at the convention. Thank you. Richard Boyd. How are you? Nice to see you. Tom Finn from the Sheriff's Good Association. Good to meet you. Very much. Bob Fusel. Hello. From criminal Investigators. And Tom, you're going to have to pronounce your last name. Oh my God! I can't start <laughs> Chief Kimmel. Dick Cusero, you've met before here. Bob Scully. Jim Malley. And Jack Elberton, from the DA's Association. Good to see you, Mr. President. Fraternal Order of Police and. Right down the line, and the orderly burden here has brought them together because they felt that there should be a private organization of law enforcement officers. It's not official as such that could uh, support things that you're interested in, uh, support things in law, that law enforcement uh, finds important in Congress, and so on. So, Don, I'll let you and Ordway uh, mention just a little bit about it. Right, uh, Mr. President, we just wanted to uh, come and have this opportunity to present you with a like to express our appreciation for all your support of law enforcement and to say to you that this organization, through the executive heads of these groups, as Ed says, reached over 300,000 law enforcement officers. And we think about 90% of the law enforcement community through the military organizations. And they went up on the hill and testified in favor of your crime package, which we've been pushing very hard. In, uh, Dick Boyd spent an hour on C-SPAN as a special guest plugging it, and among other things. And at this organization, myself, Dick, and others, went up and testified for Senator Thurman on the Judiciary Committee in favor of Ed's nomination, and we have been plugging it everywhere we can. So we just, uh, we just think you're doing a wonderful job, and these organizations are gonna take these pictures and run them in their publications, and if that uh, is, uh, doesn't tell their membership that they think that Ronald Reagan is doing a great job, I don't know how else we can do it. Mr. Burton would like to present you with your from our Small token of our esteem, Mr. President, National Law Enforcement Council, with grateful thanks to President Ronald Reagan, friend of the law enforcement profession, August 30th, 1984, Ordway P. Burden, Chairman. Many people claim to be friends of law enforcement, but we know how sincere you are. Well, thank you very much. And as President Wilde of Ordway is here, I think you talk a lot about the private sector. I think this is one of the greatest examples of volunteerism. Ordway, a private citizen, uh, has devoted virtually his entire life uh, in recent years to law enforcement and supporting law enforcement. I last saw him about two weeks ago out at the Law Enforcement Explorers Conference in Columbus, Ohio, and I don't think there's a major law enforcement gathering where he doesn't show up, so we're very grateful to him. It's a privilege. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'm greatly honored. Yes, uh, we also have uh, President Richard Board and the Order of Police, 160,000 members nationwide. Just like president, to you. We, were, we were thinking about giving you a chief's hat, <laughs> but you know it didn't, it didn't uh, uh, gel with the, your policies, your objectives, uh, and what the officers working in the trenches and the streets and in the institutions of the country. So we're giving you a patrolman's hat <laughs> because that represents, it has your name on it. This badge is not new, sir. It was worn by a 20 year a police officer, his name's on the back of the badge, and he wanted to give that to represent all police officers who work the streets. And well, we
just the change when it gets to the 13% mark, that's where mm -hmm. things begin to stop. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. 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 Just fine. I know what you're here for. Yes. And uh, my regret is tempered a little by the fact that you won't be full of it. Yes. Well, it's obviously with a very, very difficult decision for me because it has been a real honor to serve in the administration. I've been a fan of yours for a long time, but I have a message. I have a 96 year old grandmother who is a really big fan, and she wants you to know she's casting her book for you on the book six. No. <laughs> thank you. Well. And thank her for being my very I sure will. It has been a very, very worthwhile, rewarding experience for me, and I just hope that I've been able to make a little progress over at the Federal Regulations Authority and contribute and help you achieve some of your initiatives. Well, I thank you for the opportunity. It's been a very, very enjoyable Well, we've been very pleased and happy to have you. Well, thank I know you. we get a picture for your grandmother. Oh, okay. Thank you. Here's a little souvenir. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, well, thank you very much. Well, okay. This is I, what I'm supposed to have. Yes, I guess I, mean, <laughs> I, I should present right. that to you. All right. Okay, again. Well, good luck. Thank you sure. very thank much. You. Thank you for all you've done. Okay, bye now. Okay, and I'd like to have a, a shot of you, sir, behind the desk. 